Hello good morning friends welcome back to your favorite channel code one digest today in this tutorial we are going to learn about model view controller project what is mvc pattern how mvc architecture works how can we implement mvc into our nestjs frameworks so all of that we are going to learn in this tutorial today i'll show you step by step how can you create a mvc application in nestjs framework using hbs template render engine what is hbs template render engine how can we create views in our nestjs framework using that engine so all of that i am going to show you step by step in this tutorial so if you want to learn mvc what is mvc pattern how mvc architecture works if you want to learn nestjs framework if you want to learn hbs template render engine then this is a tutorial for you and believe me in 10 minutes you will be able to write production ready mvc application okay friends so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very exciting and very informative tutorial today friends in the previous tutorial i explained you how to create a application in nestjs framework with postgres db as a backend how to connect our nestjs application to postgres db how can we use type orm within our nestjs project to interact with postgres db how to create microservices in nestjs framework to fetch data from postgres db how type orm works with the postgres db inside the nest framework so all of that i have covered in my previous tutorial the link is there on your screen and also provided in the description section of this video so go and watch the previous video if you want to learn nestjs with postgres db friends i have also created a complete playlist on nestjs framework starting from installation of the nestjs configuration of the nestjs and various concept of nestjs framework like controllers providers modules middlewares and so on so go and watch a complete playlist on nestjs it is going to be very very exciting and very informative playlist for you the link is there on your screen also given in the description section of this tutorial what you need to understand susan is that everyone has an agenda okay friends here is the agenda of this tutorial today i'll explain you what is mvc pattern what is mvc architecture all about i'll show you how can you create nestjs project what all dependencies are required to be installed how to install those dependencies then i'll show you step by step how to write a code to create our view files and how to write controllers to interact with the views right and then finally we'll be running our application and testing it right friends so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end friends here is the prerequisite for this project we need no js version 16 and above i am using version 18 you can use the latest version of node js as well then finally we need a nest installation i am using nest 10.2.1 you can take the latest version of the nest we will need the npm package manager i am using 9.5.0 you can use the latest one and i am using vs code editor to create my project and update the files okay friends so now let's understand what is model view and controller architecture all about mvc framework is a architectural design that separates an application into three main logical component that is model view and controller mvc isolates the business logic with your presentation layer mvc is a industry standard web development framework to create scalable and extensible web applications mvc provide clear separation of your business logic ui logic and your input logic mvc offers full control on your html and url which make it easy to design web application architecture mvc also supports test driven development there are lot of benefits of using the mvc framework to develop our web applications let's understand what is model what is view and what is controller so model is nothing but your data the information the information is your model 
when a request comes then application has to return the information that is nothing but your model so model represent either the data that is being transferred between the view and controller component so whenever the request comes the request is always to fetch certain information certain data and that data is your model what is view view is the presentation layer of your application view is your ui component which is rendering and displaying your model data to user so view is the presentation layer ui component where the model data model information is rendered to display it to user what is controller so controller is a bridge between your model and view so when the request comes the request comes to your controller based on the routes you define and then finally your controller will get the data from your business layer and repository layer prepare a data object will decide which particular view is going to render this data you may have n number of pages in your application home page login page let's say product listing page product detail page and many more different pages in your application but controller will decide this model this data is going to be rendered on which view component right so controller plays a very critical role of bridging a gap between your model data and your view component right so we'll see that in architecture diagram okay so controller act as a interface between the model and view components to process all incoming requests and interact with the view to render the final output let us understand with this diagram so this is me as a user when i make a request to any website that means sending a request to a controller let's say https://amazon.com so that request will go and hit a controller the controller will say user pawan is requesting the information for the home page controller will make call to the business layer business layer make call to the repository layer create the data for my home page prepare the object and that is nothing but my model here so that model is created where i have all the information to render on a home page now then controller will say this data will be displayed by this ui component right so controller sends the model information to the view component and that view component goes as a response to user request along with your model data let me show you how to create the mvc application using nestjs framework what i can i i do i do not understand now let's start with the coding of our nestjs mvc project so create a directory where you want to create this project like i have created nasjs mvc project using hbs engine open a command prompt at this location the very first thing that we have to do is to install the nasjs cli if you already have nasjs cli then that's fine otherwise you have to install the nasjs cli let me show you the command for this so the command is there on your screen npm i hyphen g the rate nasjs slash cli this will install the nasjs cli in your local so that you can run the nest command if you already have it then we'll start with the creation of project i already have it so i'll start with the creation of nestjs project now next command is to create a project nestjs project here you have to give nest new and name of the project so i am creating nestjs mvc project with hbs engine so why hbs because hbs is a engine that help us in supporting the ui rendering and other features related to ui and we are using hbs engine so enter this it will ask you for what is the package manager you want to use i'll say npm then it will download all the dependencies and libraries at this location it will take a couple of minutes just to wait for it to complete yes so it is created 
now we have to go inside the nest.js project here you can see all the files we have source folder and in and package.json and so on now we have to install sbs engine what is a sbs it's a template rendering engine which will help us in rendering the html views as we learn right there are model views and controller controller and model are part of our nest.js view will come from this hbs right friends so this hbs template engine will help us in rendering the html pages html views okay so let's go back to our console and say npm install save hbs yes so it is done now what i'll do is let me load the project into my vs code editor and then i'll show you what all files we have right okay friends so now what i have done is i have loaded the project into my vs code editor now the very first thing that we'll see is the package.json so what all dependencies we have is nest.js common nest.js core nest.js platform express hbs template rendering engine and reflect metadata rxgs okay so these are the dependencies if we go to the source folder you would see the main.ts file this is a start point for our application then we have a controller file this is where we are going to write our endpoints main.ts file we are going to write few lines of code for our hbs template rendering engine let me show you that okay So very first thing that you have to do is so you have to import nest express application so let's say import nest express application right okay now we will use this nest express application as a generic here in create function so that we'll get the object accordingly we'll get the app object accordingly and then on app object we'll write few lines of code to enable our template engine okay friends so here is the code these three lines we have to write to enable our template engine so what we are saying here is we are saying this is a directory public directory where all my assets will go then this is my base directory where all my view file will go that means my hbs file so hbs file is nothing but like your html file all my html file will go in views directory and the engine that i'm using is hbs right so this will enable my template rendering engine if you don't add this generic then this will not work it will start giving you this error hence we have to add this generic so that it understands this functions so now let me create the public and views directory first so that we can put our files accordingly in those directory so those directory ha have to be created at the same level at source so this is my root okay and here we'll create a directory public so that it will come at the same level as source i'll create another directory at the root so that it will come parallel to the source that is views okay so now i have created public and views directory our views hbs file will go here the very first file that will create here is login.hbs okay so this login.hbs is like our html file which is going to render it now let me have some html code here so here i have a very basic html code i have html then header then body so in that inside body i'm referring this message object this is a message object i'm expecting from my server to return on a ui okay so now what i'll do is now i'll go to my controller and will write code to send data in a message object okay let me open my controller now so this is my controller now we have to modify to return response to our view component so for that the very first thing that we have to use here is at the rate render decorator and this will take the name of our view file so if you see the view file here is login.hbs so i just have to write here login and we have to import render 
so just say import render from decorator now this com controller knows that return the response on this view okay whatever response will send will be rendering on this view so response will go to this particular view file so now this view file expects message as an object hence we have to return message my model data yes so we have created model object with the value these and just remove this string because this is not a string type we'll just have this function and now what we'll do is we'll just test if we are able to see this data in as soon as we open our localhost 3000 slash okay let me run this and see if this is working i'm in my console npm run start yes so it started now let me go to the browser and hit localhost 3000 and see what happens i'm in a browser now i'll type http localhost 3000 yes it is printing my model data that means it is printing the same data what we are sending in the in this model object message this is not rocket science now what i'll do is let me make this application little sophisticated we'll add some more lines of code and we'll also do a post operation and we'll try to return little complicated object into our ui component into our views okay friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i'm not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you so very first thing what i'll do is i'll add a few more view components and then we'll update our controller okay friends so i have updated my login.hbs with a form let me explain you here is the message that is coming from our controller and then i have added one form here like when we used to write jsp files we used to have a form to submit information to our backend components to our servlets and so on right so here also we are doing exactly same we have a form an extra type is slash but here method is post okay because we are submitting we are sending information we are keeping it post and then i have username and then i have password as the input field here finally i have a submit button so i'll enter the username and password and i'll submit what i am expecting is after validation if the username and passwords are valid then user will be redirect to another page where we'll see user information on that page okay friends so i'm adding one file here user info dot hbs right and here is the code of user info dot hbs it has html code with header that's fine then body inside body i have h1 header and then here i am printing the first name with name as a object second name family name as a object email email as a object age age as a object gender gender as a object when the login is successful so my controller will redirect me to this page and we'll see the information user information on this page now let me go and update my controller accordingly for this scenario right friends okay friends so now let me show you my modified controller what i have done so we have a get method here get function very first time when user hit the localhost 3000 then this get mapping will get hit this function will get called and we'll be loading our login.hbs file okay this is a view we are going to see login.hbs having a form and here user can enter the username and password and click submit button so when user submits the button then it will again go to slash url but with the method post okay 
So when the post request come with the slash URL, then it will hit our post mapping. It will come to this function. Here we'll be retrieving the username and password from the body. Now here we are reading the input of the form from a body decorator in form of parameters. Now I am logging it here params.username params.password okay and then finally I am returning this JSON object okay where I have user ID this is a user ID email this is a email name this is a name then family name this is a name nickname this is a name age gender email verified so this is a JSON that I am returning so that we will use this information on a view so which view I am rendering here is user info so we will be referring this information on user info let us go user info and see so if you see on user info we are referring name family name email age and gender which is written by this function post function name family name email then age gender etc right so as soon as user submits the form from our login page it will call the post method of our controller then it will prepare a data assume the data is coming from your service class or your business layer class but it is just for a demo hence I am preparing a response object here response JSON here itself let's restart the application and see if this is working fine oh wow that is really that's amazing let me stop this application let me start this application again okay the application is started reload this page yes so we saw this form is available now so this is the form that you see here in login page now I'll provide let's say password okay let us see if we are able to see the user information on our user info page yes so we are now redirected to our user info page where we are seeing the information first name Pavan second name Modi email test age 25 gender M wow that's amazing so so assume this data you are fetching it from your backend focus in this tutorial is to show you how model view controller works in SJS so I have provided this data in a controller itself but in real scenario this information would come from your backend database or may come from some other API's okay instead of this JSON you can also use the DTO you can define your own DTO where you have all these parameters in the DTO file populating the information in the DTO and returning that DTO object here I hope the concept of model view controller is now clear with you. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. I'll definitely reply. Okay friends, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, so do subscribe to my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, this is my GitHub repository, Code One Digest, and this is a project NestJS complete tutorial. So whatever code and project I have shown you is all available here. You can see NestJS MVC project. So this is the project having all the source that I've explained you. So you can download this repository, download this project and play with it. You need not to start from the scratch. You can clone this repository and you can customize it as per your requirement and start using it. Right friends. So all the code what I've explained you is all available here in this repository go and start using it now okay friends friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.